Hey guys, welcome back to Centerpoint Construction with Building My Dream Home. In this episode of Building My Dream Home, we'll be answering a lot of questions by um, that you guys have asked over the period of watching the videos that we have uploaded. Some of the questions were people asking what are the columns for the lintels, the cantilever, and so forth. So we'll be answering a few of those and telling you what they are so that you'll get a better understanding and that you can understand the whole process of building my dream home. In this video, you'll also see some clippings of some arches, some columns, and stuff like that. But near the end of the video, there is a building that I want you guys to take a look at and leave a comment down below regarding that question that I asked in the video because I really want to know how much of you would really do what I asked in there or how you would feel. So again, there's a question that's asked about a building in the video that I want you guys to really leave a comment down below and tell me your feelings about that particular building. So we can see if technology is really going in the way in which makes us feel a certain way. Um, if I, I don't want to give it away, so you'd have to watch to the end to really get that question. But leave a comment down below. Let me know. I want to know your answer. I know over the process of this journey of building my dream home, there's a few times I'm wondering if it is strong enough for what I, I'm building. Like a lot of times I question uh, the strength and integrity of the building because, you know, it's a lot of concrete that you're dealing with and you have to wonder sometimes the size of the, the rooms if it's going to be too big. But anyways... So the reason why we say that is how strong is your home? So the lintels, the column, the scantilever, the arches. So we're going to see how they play on the structure of your home. So a lintel, we're going to start off by answering the question of what are lintels and what are they used for? So basically, lintels is designed to create a support for your doorways and your windows and because there's always buildings that are still going above your doorway we have to make sure that there's something that's going to be taking the the weight of what is above your doorway and window so the lintel they come in cement form, steel, and wood form. So you have to decide which one you're going to be using based on the type of home that you are building. So that will be based on the type of structure you're building. You'll decide which lintel you use. So you have the cement lintel, which is mostly used when you are building with building blocks or bricks. So the the, sti the mech you also have the lintels that are supported with the metal beam. It mostly used with bricks, but you can also use it with the building blocks as well or any cement form. You have the houses that are constructed with plywood and boards, so they will stick to the board form when. They So a lintel is a load-bearing support and it runs horizontally between the two vertical walls and it's to create, the, it supports the weight, as stated before, of the most vulnerable points in your home. So your doorways and your windows, if you really stop to think about it, because of the opening and how the opening is set, you have to have something to bear the load that's above that door jamb or the door opening and the windows as well. Okay, so next is the scantilever. What is a scantilever? What is it used for? 
Scantilever is something that's mostly used to create more space for the interior of your home. And it's also used to have that unique look or to create designs to give your exterior of your home a little bit more curve or body as what I would call it. Like you have a home that's just flat or straight, the walls just go up. The scantilever is there to design to help it. And it, um, it extends outwards. A scantilever extends outward and the only support that the scantilever has is on both ends of the wall that extends outward. And most builders, you have to do your over support with your steels and then make sure that you're using proper quantities of the cement mixture to bond it properly. So over support of steels and proper cement mixture for your scantilever. And in these modern homes, lately, the some use the steel beams. They're using steel beams and they can go up to 15 feet nowadays i'm seeing scantilever that are even longer than 15 feet so with the evolving of technology which is a great thing as you can see in this picture like hmm, i like this picture like the scenery like everything about it but how much of you can honestly say that you would feel safe and comfortable knowing that the entire building is hanging off of a cliff and it has nothing, nothing is under it supporting it. So again, with modern technology, the scantilevers help gives you more space, give you more creativity, but it's just make sure that you do it properly. Next is the belting. The belt-in is basically what you would call a connector. So how I explain belt-in is that it's the connection points. It's bringing each wall together. So you have a room. The room has four walls. How do you join those four walls to make it stand support and strong? It's the belt-in goes along and connect all four walls to make it stronger and more sturdier so as you can see in this picture up top they're all all those metal things they're all connected together to create a strong support we have structural and decorative columns so columns are another form of helping to make your building stronger from floor to ground so basically the columns are the vertical support, while as your belting was your horizontal support, your lintel was your horizontal support. So at the end of the day, you have all these things that create more support for your building and they are important. Like a structural column, you have columns that connect two walls or three walls, so it all depends which walls you're connecting together. So for the structural columns, they connect the walls and make them stronger. The decorative columns are for show, for beauty. Let's um, dress it up. You do have some of them that you can turn into decorative columns, but they are still a structural piece of your home, just like the one in that picture. It still holds up a part of your building, but you make it beautiful. So for the arches, I love these part, but the arches, they are there. They are different types of arches. They can be made from concrete, plaster, and even steel. Which arch or which design you, or which material you choose to use for your arch design is up to you and what, so what maintenance you want to give those arches. And the arches bears its own weight. So if you really think about the arch, and the arches in the concrete home, we tie it into the belting of the home, so it kind of support, the belting support the arch. 
so that it doesn't fall down on you or anything but you do have to maintain it over the time being and make sure that the cracks and stuff you seal it and keep it up to date with proper maintaining of it just like any part of your home so arches have been around for a long time a very long time if you go back to even some old century pictures even from stone you will see arches that are there from stone but over time we have made it more beautiful more modern and we customize them to fit what we want in our home and what we want it to look like on the outside and that's the beauty of technology that you can create something that 100 200 years old and still use it and it looks beautiful so i hope that answers the question for you guys and i hope that you guys were reading the slides so again columns they are vertical support from ground to ceiling they connect walls together to tie it in to hold it um, sturdy the lintels or support over your door to bear the weight of the building and the uh, materials that are above the door and windows your lint um, your cantilever is basically for creating space and giving your house a body I call it a body give it some shape give it some style and then again for your arches it's just let me beautify my home and give it some look to the open concepts and the open spaces so i hope you guys did enjoy or did and learn something if you haven't done so as yet don't forget to subscribe share this video with friends and family guys that's how we grow our channel that's how we keep um you guys it, it's it's a matter of keeping the content that you want, the more people ask questions, the more we can answer them, the more we can give you what you're looking for. So the more people who are watching and have questions, we can give feedbacks, we can give answers. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell, guys. A lot of you telling me, I didn't see the video. Turn on your bell so you don't miss the next video. Hit the bell. Thank you, guys.